Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck, and I'm feeling really sweet today. And that means I'm craving something that's more dessert-oriented. Now, one of my favorite cereals ever, probably my favorite cereal, is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And I also love rice pudding. So, um, I think you already can tell where I'm going with this. I'm thinking we're going to do a Cinnamon Toast Crunch rice pudding. And you're also going to see how kind of ridiculously easy this is to make. The only long part is waiting for it to set in the fridge for a few hours and cool down. Although you can eat it warm too. So let's just start. Let me show you how quick and easy this is to make and I'll show you how delicious it's going to taste too. Right in the Instant Pot, Cinnamon Toast Crunch Rice Pudding. So we're going to begin with some arboreal rice, which is the same kind of rice we'd use in a risotto. And I'm going to take one cup of it and add it to the Instant Pot. Then I'm gonna add one and a half cups of water and a quarter teaspoon of salt. We're also gonna add in a bay leaf. And give everything a nice good stir together and then secure our lid and make sure we're in sealing position. And then we're going to come down and hit manual and we're gonna just cook for three minutes on high pressure. And when that's done, we're gonna allow a 10 minute natural release and follow with a quick release. So now that our rice is cooking, we're gonna make our delicious egg mixture. We're gonna take two large eggs and crack them inside of a mixing bowl. And we're gonna add a half a cup of a whole milk, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And whisk it all together. Great, and now set it aside. Now that it's done cooking, we're gonna allow a 10 minute natural release, which means that's gonna count up to the number 10 before we finish it off with a quick release. Pin drop, so let's remove the lid. Great, okay, now let's just take that bay leaf and let's discard it. We're going to add in one and a half cups of milk. A half a cup of granulated white sugar and two tablespoons of a good maple syrup. Now let's mix all of that up together. Make sure that we scrape the bottom of the pan with our mixing spoon so the rice is now mixing in with our milk and our sugar and our maple syrup. Great, next step. Get one of these mesh strainers, and uh, you can find them pretty much anywhere. I got this at Ikea, actually, but you can find them on Amazon, too. I'll link to one. And now we're going to take our egg mixture, and we're going to pour it right through and into our Instant Pot. And pour it right through the strainer. Let it go right into the pot. And then give that strainer a little shake when done. The reason we do this is so it reserves a little bit of that goopiness from the egg, which we don't really want in the rice pudding. Now the next step, we're gonna come to the pot, and we're gonna hit keep warm cancel, and then we're gonna hit saute and make sure we're on the more setting. And then we immediately want to stir everything in the pot constantly. We're gonna be standing over here for a little bit until it begins to bubble. So that's gonna be important. Just make sure you keep stirring. We don't want anything to get bunched up or stuck to the bottom of the pan as Jerry would like to do if it just sits there. So just keep doing this for a little bit until it begins to bubble. And as we're stirring, after about three out of the five minutes, you're gonna see it's gonna to start to thicken. And you know, stop every few moments to see if it begins to bubble like it is right now, and it's gonna get nice and thick as you can tell. And now you can see as I'm stirring, it's bubbling. And now that we're really bubbling, I'm gonna remove this from the pot. All right, I'm gonna hit keep warm cancel. And now it's resting on a wooden cutting board, cooling down and thickening up at the same time. It's gonna be magnificent. And after we let it sit there for about five minutes or so, you could either serve it warm or how I like to do it, cold. So I'm gonna put it in a serving bowl and then I'm gonna pop it in the fridge for about two to three hours until it's nice, set and chilled. So now that it's cooling down, you're gonna see how nice and thick it's getting, which is perfect. Now, one thing to note that rice really never stops absorbing liquid, so it's gonna get thicker the more it refrigerates, which is fine. But you can thin it out by adding a little extra milk if you wish, or if not, if you can eat it just as thick as you like, that's fine too. What I'm gonna do now though, is I'm gonna transfer this into a mixing or serving bowl, I should call it, but I use my mixing bowls as serving bowls sometimes because they have lids. And there we go, pop the lid on top, and then put it inside the fridge and I'm gonna come back in a couple of hours when it's nice and cooled. And now that a few hours have passed, I'm gonna take the rice pudding out of the fridge. Let's take off the lid and there we go, our beautiful rice pudding. Now look at that, it's awesome, it's fantastic, it's thick, it's rich. Now what happens when you leave it in the refrigerator for a while, like any rice, when there's ever there's liquid around rice, it's gonna wanna absorb it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plate my portion, what I want, into a little bowl and then I'm gonna add a little milk to make it a little creamier, you'll see. And let's put some in a bowl. Beautiful. Perfect. 
All right, now I'm gonna add a little bit of milk to it, just a little bit, because I want to. You don't have to, you can eat it exactly how it is. It's gonna be great just how it is, but I'm adding just a little bit of milk to make it get, you know, I like it a little bit, a little bit creamier, um, but I want it to be also really thick at the same time. So now my consistency is exactly how I want it. Just add a little dash of milk before you serve, but you don't have to, you can eat it exactly how it is. But now here comes the best part, the topping. This wouldn't be cinnamon toast crunch rice pudding without some cinnamon toast crunch. Let's add some of this to the top of our rice pudding. Okay, there we go. Put some on top, and you can put some, you know, however much you want, really. It's completely up to you. I'm gonna leave about that much in there. And then you can mix it up in there if you want, or you can just, you know, eat it how it is, however you want. And there we have it, guys. Some beautiful cinnamon toast crunch rice pudding. Mm, let's dig on in. Okay, right into the cinnamon toast crunch rice pudding we go. If you like rice pudding, if you like French toast, if you like cinnamon toast crunch, you're gonna like this. It's so good. The rice texture is lovely. The crunch of the cinnamon toast crunch. It's a wonderful, sweet, simple dessert. It has that perfect rice pudding texture to it where it's not too mushy, but it's also not too chewy. It's really, literally Goldilocks just right. It's not only gonna be the perfect follow-up to any meal as a dessert, but it's gonna be a great breakfast too if you want it for breakfast. It's awesome, what else can I say, it's awesome. Guys, if you like these videos, if you like easy to follow video recipes and easy to follow written recipes, go to PressureLawCooking.com. Check out my Facebook page, that's Facebook.com slash PressureLawCooking. I have tons of content there, like the page, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, you can pin any uh, recipe off from PressureLawCooking.com by hovering over a photo and saving it to any board you'd like. Uh, I'm here, I answer questions, anything you want, let me know, and if any questions you have about the Instant Pot, or recipes that I've made, let me know, I'm happy to help. Thank you guys so much again for your support. I'm telling you, this is so good, I am not putting you on.